Say yakiri 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 to let you believe in the impossible. I mean, coming from where you are, where is nothing. Sometimes there is no hope. Sometimes there is no dream, but he let you think that, okay, I don't have to be violent. I don't have to go out and do something wrong in order to achieve. So to us, Bob Marley is like, you understand, a motivator, what we would say. Peter Touch, no, he is an, an enforcer. He, he let you become more bold then. Because sometimes in this life, you, want, you have to be bold to believe in you to go out there. Sometimes you don't make it because you, you, you are great at something, but you're just too shy to push out or to say, yeah, I'm going to try to get that one opportunity. So Peter Touch and Bob Marley is more than just singers to me. You understand? They, re they represent an aspect of life which help, help, help you walk on a positive path to life. So that's what Peter Touch and Bob Marley represent to me, Anthony B. <laughs> Well, I'm feeling wonderful. I want to say this is a wonderful experience. This is a great festival and the people give you a wonderful welcome. Like I'm home. Feel like when you go home and your kids run in and say yeah. So, and I see that a lot of young kids are out there. So it's a family event. So to, to come at a reggae event and see kids, to see the first and the second and the third generation. That's beautiful because it shows you that it's very peaceful. It's calm. There is tranquility. No one around the world hear about this festival have to ever feel feared or scared that it's not an event you can't go to. It's an event. And in Jamaica, we got to say, say the best things that are free. So the best thing is that the festival is free. You know? So we give thanks. I'm happy to be a part of it. And I learn it's the 11th edition. So. I'm, I pray that this festival keep going and going and going. You know? yeah. See them every day on the highway, roadblock them up on the freeway. See them every night, now nah, do no right. In a helicopter with them spotlight. Like My greatest message is love yourself. Because that's where it all started. Everything that we have today started here in the mind. Maybe not my mind or your mind, but somebody else's mind. It is somebody who invent this microphone by thinking about it. Somebody invent that video camera by thinking about it. So if we, if I love myself, you love yourself, then the energy that you will project is love. So if you're a positive person, the energy you put out is positive. A microphone gives sound because that's the purpose of it. So if, 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 if I am a positive person, I'm going to echo positive. If you are positive and both of us meet, we are positive energy gathered there and there is no negativity. So that's my message is, is love yourself because there is more in our, in our similarities as human beings than in our differences. Differences is we create complication but similarities is vitality. You understand? I'm black, you're white, this is Japanese, he's Chinese but we all need water, air a place to sleep, a peaceful community, a place to grow our kids. So these are the similarities that pull us and bind us together. So let's look at that part of life and don't look at the differences. Black, white, brown, anywhere the marijuana can be found. Pound after pound after pound, town after town after town. Geneva, Switzerland. Well, I read a lot and travel a lot, <laughs> write a lot, because you never stop doing music, you know, when you're not performing, then you're, you're, you're writing, when you're not writing, then you're recording, because the fans are demanding, so they, when they see you on the stage, 
when you're not on the stage, they ask you, oh, when is the new song coming out? Oh, we don't hear no new album from you. So it's a 24-hour job. It never stops. You see the Rasta man? Love me weed. Love me weed, weed. Love me weed. Love me weed, weed. Love me weed. Eat right. When you eat healthy, then you will think healthy. When you think healthy, then your body will be healthy. So, And I try to keep myself healthy because vitality is survival. Marcus Garvey is, is one of my great teachers. And he teaches us that the, in, if you are not fit, it is, vi it is detrimental to your survival. So the fittest of the fittest shall survive. So if survival is the key in your life, fitness must be a part of your daily activity. Yes. So I, and when you give the people that energy, it's like going to a class and you got a, a teacher or a professor who is full of life and energy. The way he teach it might gain your interest to learn more than if he's a boring professor, you might not want to go to class. So it's the same thing with performance. Geneva, I'm living my life, my life, my life, living my life, yeah. living my life, yeah. living my life, my life, my life, my life, living my life. Yeah. It's like a government. Within a government, you got different elected members to represent different sectors of that government. So you got the health sector, you got the security sector, you got the infrastructure. You understand you got environmental education also within rastafari movement you have the nyabingi which is they don't wear turban so nyabingi now is more a warrior a Baba shanti is more like a priest so like you go you look at the priest in your community and say oh he's a priest a member of the holy part of the community which is the spiritual part of the community so a Baba shanti is more like a priest in your community so he, within the Rastafari movement, so the Bobo Shanti lived a peaceful life. Every Sabbath, which is Saturday, you will see the Bobo on top of the hill, holding his Sabbath, giving praises, reading the psalm. And you have the Naya Bingi, which I tell you is a warrior. You have the 12 tribe. The 12 tribe is more like the governmental part. So like ambassadors of your country. If you come to Jamaica and there's a problem, the place that you will look for is your embassy that if you run to your embassy, you will be safe. So there's a 12 tribe house in London. There's a 12 tribe house. So in, in Germany, there's one in New York. You understand? So if I'm in London and I got no money and no place to sleep, I suppose you can go to this house at any time of the night, being a member of the Rastafarian community. I know that I'm safe till the next day or till two days or three days to left. So this is... The movement is like that. Well, Sugar Ra is a good, good human being. And as we say, good people are good people. And he's also a good friend, a good producer. He's a producer of one of my songs, Good Cup bad cop you understand so he's a good friend so when he, I see got his project and he tell me okay he got this project I say well I have to give strength because we say he, one one hand can't clap one feet can't run so each hand wash the other so I'm just giving him a helping on the shoulder and along the way do what I can to help him highlight his project and because it's a good project and he put in some good work, he put his heart into it, and he's trying. So, as we say, what can you do to stop a man from trying? But help, give him an helping hand. I was looking to start just a little ease off, you know, so I'm just trying to highlight it out there. So, Sugar Rye, Canard Crystal, it done no Fireball production. Support Sugar Rye, support Fireball, support his album. All the fans around the world, check it out. Good music is good music, and it's up to us to let good music be highlighted or go by the wayside. So let's keep the good music going. You know? 
there. Come on. The whole show is my favorite. <laughs> my favorite song is just the show. You know? Geneva, are you feeling? Play for me, baby. Play for me. Come on. 